This is what we're going to make. Vato Elements. This week in Vato Elements is providing users with a flash sale of up to 30 to 40% off with unlimited downloads. The sale is for 48 hours only starting from today. Make sure to check it out. Back to the tutorial. If you'd like the project file, you can find it on my Patreon. Start by making a new comp. I will keep it under 15 seconds for tutorial purpose. Hit OK when you're done. Turn the margins on. Then put your song on timeline. Using the text tool, start typing in words. Then split the layer in two. And overwrite the split part with other word. Again split the layer, then overwrite the word. Make sure you are syncing the words with song. Do the same for the other words. Split overwrite repeat. When you are done, select all the text layers and pre-compose them. Double click the text pre-compose layer to navigate to it. Here I want to crop the extra black space. I will use this tiny crop tool that we have here. Enable this, then drag it around the text to form a rectangle. When you think the text is fully under this crop rectangle, go to composition tab. Then click crop comp to region of interest. Now you should end up with a nice crop space, this helps saving render time. Add a solid layer, name it as saber. Put a saber effect to it. Draw a rectangular mask on this layer. Open customize core in Saber and choose the mask you just made. Then make it transparent under render settings. You can switch between Saber presets. Open customize core and start tweaking like this. Main thing here is to set start size to 0%. Then add keyframes to mask evolution. Go to the end and change the evolution value. It will make it move. Duplicate your saber layer. Reverse the keyframes on duplicate layer. Then choose a different preset and color for your duplicate. Set the end size to 0 as well. 
I will try some other colors. Add a solid layer, this will be black background. Put this layer below everything. Head back to your main comp. This is how it looks on transparent background. Scale it down a little bit. Enable 3D button on this. Switch the view to custom view 1. Name it a side 1. Duplicate that. Put the anchor point at the top. Try to rotate it like envelope. Make another duplicate. Rotate it to form a train. Basically I'm trying to make a 3D rectangle. Then type anything using text tool. Make it bigger. Right click the layer and choose create mask from text layer. Put them both below. Turn on the text layer. Put saber effect on the masks layer. Now here do exactly the same thing as you did with previous saber effect. Connect both of the masks layers to the main text layer. Add some scaling keyframes to the text layer. Then duplicate all three layers. Put them above and move them forward. Change the presets and colors on duplicates. Pre-compose first three. Then pre-compose the other three as well. Keep duplicating them and move forward. Put a fade effect to one of the layers. Copy paste this effect on all the other layers. Select these layers and pre-compose them final time. Create a solid. Pre-compose it. Call it map and hit OK. Double click to navigate to it. Put a fractal noise effect. Set fractal type to strings. And noise type to blocks. Tweak the settings. 
they don't have to be exact like mine. I will keyframe the offset turbulence to make it move. You can also keyframe the evolution. Try changing the fractal type. I think this looks much better. Go back. Turn the map layer off. Create an adjustment layer. Call it DM plus BB. Put it below the rectangle layers. Drop a displacement map effect to it. Here choose the map layer. Then set the values like so. Turn the other layers off temporarily to see what's happening. Then put box blur, or any kind of blur effect, that you have on this layer. And insert very tiny values like 2 or 3 percent. Move the below text layer if necessary. Make it 3D as well. Create another adjustment layer. Call it SB. Put it below. Drop starburst effect to it. And copy my settings. You should see tiny sparkles now. Create another adjustment layer. Call it CCBL plus FE. Put a CC block load effect to it. Then put find edges effect. Copy my settings. Now we have a nice pixelated effect. Turn back on all the layers, except map layer. Create a null object. Make it 3D as well. This is our box, and I want to place this null object at the center of this, like in 3D space. So first I will change the viewing angle to custom views. I will use this camera tool. To move the view angle manually to see better, place the null object like this. Move it in the middle. Now change view angle to active camera. Now connect the sides to null object. Change null object's position to push it back. Create a keyframe. Move it forward. Then change the value to create another keyframe. Go to the end and change value again. It'll give a zooming effect. You can also keyframe rotation. But notice when it rotates the words start to flip. We will fix it quickly after adding rotation keyframes.
To fix flipped words, simply change the rotation of the side that appears to be flipped. You can change Y rotation value on null object to tilt the rectangle. Just have fun with it. Now create one last adjustment layer above everything. Put channel blur effect to it. Copy my settings. Now put a glow effect and copy my settings. Put glow effect once again, and copy the values. Lastly put exposure effect and copy its values. Tweak the channel blur until you find a good blend of colors. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out Invato. I'll catch up in new tutorial.